I'd now like to invite our last speaker onto the stage, Professor Johan Schnurer, who is the Vice Chancellor of Erdogan University and is also on the steering committee of the Uppsala Health Summit and I believe is also one of the founders. Please, welcome. Thank you very much, Robert, and thank you for steering us and moderating us so expertly during this meeting. Yes, it's true. Eleven years ago, I had a small part in shaping what would become the highly successful Uppsala Health Summit meetings. And I'm very pleased to see that the basic structure holds even to this day. It's been fantastic to be here with you. I'm representing the, the partners, the, the three universities, the two government agencies and the city of Uppsala and the region of, of Uppsala who are the partners. And I'm also, I think, able to speak for the sponsors, the pharmaceutical industry and Formas, which you heard recently. And, uh, in that declaring that this has been a really good example of how science, uh, policy makers, industry can meet and interact. Uh, I've learned a few new words. I've realized that one health is really not one, it's much more. And this is a, a very good development and a good understanding. At my own university, we have three defined profile areas, specifically focusing on AI and robotics, food and health, pollutants and society, linking together uh, social sciences and natural science, medical science, technical sciences. So for us in particular, this has been extremely helpful. I can't but being of my age, age rich, which a few of us, a few other here are, I, I can't help uh, remembering the film, the movie, The Graduate, Mandoms Provet in Swedish. Came out 1967, made the career of Dustin Hoffman and, and the music of Simon and Garfunkel worldwide known. But what I remember best is one line, <laughs> an advice to the graduate, by an elder man. There's a great future in plastics. And I'm not so sure after being at this conference that this was a very good advice. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that we are dealing with plastic in a serious way, that there will be a plastic treaty and there might be on chemicals. I was a bit scared learning about the 16,000 different chemicals that might be found in plastic and maybe that our ways of thinking of recycling are not the proper ways at all. I'm uh, happy to, hear, to have heard so much about the need for solutions and also for the need for the reverse dialogue policy to science. We speak a lot about science to policy, but we as scientists need to learn much more from the policy makers. With that, I realize that I'm the one standing behind you and your flights or your travels within Sweden or your dinner later. So I will close this very successful summit. Thank my colleagues in the steering committee, the advisory board, the hardworking program committee, I heard from the chair that the really hardworking people have been those leading the workshops, but maybe she is a bit too modest. And of course, our wonderful secretariat that had made all this possible. So I ask you to join me in, in an applause for all the people that have contributed. Thank you for coming to my hometown. Thank you. And with this, you are free to disperse in an organized manner.